It's a new year. Welcome to 2024. It's time for that market update. We're going to be talking about what happened in 2023 as a whole. Also, what happened in December of 2023, December of 2022. And you know, we always got to compare what was happening the month before. This is the December 2023 market update we're gonna break down everything i'm bawanka with the compass team it's good to see you back here and trust me 2024 is going to be a better year in real estate than 2023 was now the first thing that i want to start out with is in 2023 there was just over 66,000 sales now what does that mean let's put that into perspective okay in the big big years so in 2020 and in 2021 those were big years of selling we on average we were around 120,000 sales so that put that puts that into perspective to let you know that's about half the sales that we were having in those years why were there so many sales happening in those years interest rates were a lot lower now there has been one time where the market kind of went up and then it came back down throughout the year. So the year started a little bit low, went up a little bit around uh, April, May, June, came back down and kind of leveled off. That month or when that happened is when the interest rates started coming down. Now we're going to see it's going to happen sometime this year. I don't got a crystal ball, but I don't care. I'm saying it sometime this year, the interest rates are going to be coming down. I'm telling you right now, since the new year has started, People have been reaching out what's going on in the market. There is a lot of seller buyers who have been on the sidelines who are getting ready to start making a move. And a lot of times what really kind of pushes people to make a move is when the news starts talking and saying, oh, more people are buying, interest rates are coming down, things like that are happening. It gives buyers more confidence. It gives consumers more confidence. And when there's more confidence, that's when we start turning into uh, more of a more of a buyer's market. Now, the next thing I want to talk about from 2023 compared to other years. In 2023, the the months of inventory, the average was around three 3.01, basically around three months of inventory. Um, again, if you look back, December of 2022, same sort of thing, 2.8. So, 2023 and 2022, those years were just they were they were lower inventory. There were higher inventory years and Homes are not selling as fast. Now, when we go to talk about in 2021, now the months of inventory there was 0.54. Okay, so that's a lot less. That means there's just nothing that's available. Um, and in 2020, it was 1.1 months of inventory. And basically what months of inventory is, if no new listings came to the market, how many months, how long would it take to be able to sell all of that? So I'm saying right now is around three months. Back then, it was around 0.5 months. So we right now, we have a lot more available. So it's a great time to buy. I've been saying it all year last year. I was saying it's a great time to buy. Selling, in terms of selling, right now, it's not the greatest time to sell. I do think in coming months, it will be a greater time to sell. So if you can hold off, hold off. And as things start to change, keep watching this. I'll let you know when it becomes a great time to sell. If you have to sell, you have to sell. There's nothing you can really do about it. So let's talk about December of 2023. Now, things actually picked up in December of 2023 compared to December of 20, or November of 2023. Now, this is something we don't usually see. Historically, December is the slowest month of the year. Now, the transactions were 3,444. So there's more transactions that happen. And in November, there was 4,236 transactions that happened. Now, if we compare that to last year, we were just over 3,000 um, in terms of the, the transactions. So that's how many people are buying and selling, how many sales happen in the year or in the month. Now, let's talk about price. Everybody loves price. So right now we're sitting at just uh, around a million eighty-two thousand. Okay. And if we look back, sorry, we're sitting at a million eighty four and in November of 2023, we're at a million eighty two. So price just went up just a little bit, just a little bit. Now, if we look back to last year, so December of 2022, we were sitting at a million fifty. So average price has gone up over the year. 
I'm telling you, there was fluctuations up and down, but average price has gone up. Now, the one of the most important things that I do want to talk about is the days on market, okay? In December, the days on market was 49. There's a lot of homes that have just been sitting on the market. The the, the Toronto market, real estate market is, is strong and uh, sellers know what they'll sell their house for. They know what's been happening around them. And a lot of times they will hold off. They're not just going to give their home away for free. That's not to say there isn't great deals out there because there is great deals out there. But the majority of sellers are holding off and they're not going to sell their home until someone is ready to buy and give them a price that they're okay with taking. Um, so in November, the, um, the days on market was 39. So it's 10 more days. It's, homes are sitting a lot longer. But I'm telling you, once we wait till next month, January, I'm going to show you days on market is going to be a lot down. Um, and then compared to last year, again, December is always that slow month. It was 40 last year. In terms of new listings, in November we, of 2023, we had over 10,000 new listings. Um, December 2023, uh, around, not that much, around 3,800, around 4,000. And back last year, again, it was around 4,000 in, in uh, December of 2022. So, this is kind of really everything that's been happening last year as a whole, as well as comparing December 2023 with November and the, the, the year before. Um, if you're interested, if you want to know what's happening in real estate, if you want to dive deeper into things, feel free to set up a time. Click the link below, set up a discovery call, 15 or 20 minutes. Um, if there's anybody who you know who's interested in what's happening in the market, send this to them, share it with them, let them know what's going on in the market. But I can promise you, when this next update comes in January, when this next update comes, there's going to be a lot more activity. There's going to be more transactions happening than there were happening in December of 2023. So I'm Bowanka with the Compass team. We are always here to help whenever you need that help. Um, we're looking forward to hearing from you. Looking forward to talking to you. We'll have some more events coming up. But again, I'm looking forward to, to, to seeing you guys in the next month, in the next couple of weeks. Stay tuned. If you like the content, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, and we'll see you soon.